Well, I'm here with joint managers Paul Postlethwaite and Glenn Clarence following the 1-0 victory over Gedling Miners Welfare in the East Midlands Counties League. And uh, Poss, um, what are your thoughts on today's game? Quite frustrating at times. I thought today's game was a steaming sack of, uh, well, it was poor. I can't tell you anything else. It was uh, two sides that looked like they wanted to sunbathe. Neither side showed any intent to go home in the game. Neither side showed any belief that they'd gone win the game, and that's about as disappointing. Certainly, the first half as I've been, as I've had since I've been at Ena. What on, Jesse? It did sort of have an end of season feel about it, but it, it just took that one moment of quality to win the game, and fortunately for us, that bit of quality came for us. Yeah, I think Jesse should have scored about 10 minutes previous to that. He's missed a pretty good chance from four or five yards. Uh, Jamie Slade pops up, scores goals. He'll be first to admit that he wasn't great today, as most of them weren't great today. But, like I say, a little bit of quality. It's a goal. We get three points. We've played poorly and won. So we can have a positive there, can't we? Mm -hmm. And that's Jamie Slay's 39th goal in all competitions, so he's, he's looking for that milestone goal in the next two games. And uh, Glenn, it's difficult conditions out there today. It's, it's very warm, the pitch is dry. Do you think that had, a, had an impact on, on the, how the game went today? Yeah, I think that would be an excuse, Chris, after 15 minutes. But I think we started off poorly and we stayed poor. So. No, I don't think that's an excuse. Uh, we asked them to go and give, them, give us everything they've got, um, play like we've played in those previous 10-11 games, and then if they tire, we'll make changes, or we'll change the shape, or we'll change the style of play. Um, so, yeah, there's no excuses there, in my opinion. We were just poor. Um, I don't think they were anything great, but they, they certainly weren't poor. Um, I just think it was a poor game of football, and the red card for them... Makes our life easier, but doesn't make the, the game any better. Um, yeah, just glad it's over. I'm glad we've got three points. And uh, three points and another clean sheet. They, uh, they Gedling tried to put some pressure on us towards the end of the game, but we uh, stayed resolute at the back. Yeah, we did. Um, 
that's probably the only only positive other than the three points. Like, like we say, Chris, um, it's one we want to forget about. Nothing, nothing great. Not happy with a lot of it, but three points, sunshine. No one to get drunk. And now moving on to uh, Belperon uh, Monday, <coughs> bank holiday Monday, an improved performance. You're looking for Oz? Can't get any worse, Chris. I'm being brutally honest. Uh, it was, yeah, improved performance, definitely. I think I came to watch the Bel Pahina game right at the start of the season, which, if memory serves right, was a bank holiday. And I think that game was probably as bad as the one we've just watched today. Uh, bank holiday games tend to sometimes fizzle out, but it's a local derby. It can't get much more local for me, if I'm being totally honest. I'll have about two minutes away. So... I'm looking forward to it, see some old friends, but if we turn up like that, I will not look forward to it at all. So, improved performance and three points would be fantastic. Uh, we look forward to that game on Monday. Thank you.